Welcome to our last special presentation. We are so thrilled to have been a part of this camp meeting. The Spirit of the Lord has been among us, and we say, Hallelujah. Amen. Your turn, Adam. My sister and I will try to sing for you the Shema, a hymn. A poem and John 1 verse 14 and 18. May your hearts be filled with our Savior's love. Amen. Let's begin by singing the first two stanzas of 316. 
Live with, out thy life within me. With. They're gonna sing. Without the life within me, oh Jesus, King of Kings. I dreamed 
I was walking along the beach with my ward. Across the dark sky, flashed scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonging to me and one to my ward. When the last thing of my life shot before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand and to my surprise, <gasps> I noticed that many, many times along the path of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I will realized that this was at the wall, this was and status times of my life. This always bothered me and I questioned the word about my dilemma. What you told me when I decided to follow you, you would walk and talk with me all the way. But I am aware that during the most troublesome, trouble, troublesome, trouble, troublesome, troublesome times of my life, there is only one set of of footprints. Hmm. I just don't understand why when I needed you most. You left me. He whispered, my precious child, I love you and will never leave you, never ever during your, your trials and testings when you saw only one set of footprints. It is it was then that I carried you. Amen. And now I would like to share with you a hymn that I love to sing with my time with Jesus. And that is hymn 498. Yield not to temptation. Is it is located in the old hymnal? I am running about carrying numbers over in math. This song means something to me because I know that in anything, anything, I run Jesus and my angels will. He will carry you me. He will carry me to you. You not to temptation. You not to temptation for you to listen. Each victory will help you some other to win. Fight manfully on word, dark past, and subdue. Look, apple to Jesus, he will carry you. Ask the Sabre to help you. Comfort, champion, and keep you. He is willing to aid you. He will carry you through. Sean, evil compassion. Bad language, the sin. God's name, hold in reverence, nor take it in vain. Be thoughtful and earnest, kind hearted and true. Look, 
and Petucci. So he, he will carry you through. He will carry you through. Ask to say, but to help you. Comfort, strength, and keep you. He is willing to aid you. He will carry you through. To him that overcometh God gift a, a crown to faith. We shall conquer, though often cast down. He who is our savior, our savior, we knew. Look, ever to Jesus, he will carry you through. Ask to say, but to help you, comfort, strength, and keep you. He is willing to aid you. He will carry you through. My last song, my last song for you will be taken from John chapter one, verses fourteen and eighteen. In the word, in the word was made flesh and dwell among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. No man has seen God any time, the only of the Father. He has declared, he has declared, he has declared. Him. Your turn, Em. And the Word was made fresh and dwell among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. No man have seen God at any time, the only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father. He has declared, he has declared, he has declared him. And so now we'll end, end. Um, this session of our program by singing the last two stanzas of 316. <laughs>
Dear Heavenly Father, I mean, dear, dear, dear Father, thank you for your children here in in New Kenya. We we um thank you for for your love that that we accept. May may we be willing. To, to give your to, to give our hearts to to you dearly or, or um, we can't keep it it is your copy keep it here um, we can't keep it for thee may we be sent for the bible to guys when we have to sing alone may may we be like Daniel and and um, Esther being like Disney and the Hunter comes guys and and um, Mr. Chess and um, thank you and Jesus name Amen. amen. <laughs> Now, Adam will that say the benediction. To think, above all, that we ask, all thing, according to the power that worth in us be in you, you all, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Asante, 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 Rafiki Sangu, Asante, Rafiki Sangu. Thank you, my friends. Mongu, away, nai. Together. Mongu, away, nai, hadi, tukutani. Mongu, away, nai, hadi, hadi, tukutani. Thank you. God, God be with you till we meet again. Now let's, let's, let's hold up your hands. Kahare, 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 Kahare. As you can see, family, friends, um, this has not been easy, but as the hymn goes, he will carry us through. Even when we find it difficult to present something to people, um by god's grace he will see us through so i thank god for jesus that um through through trials uh he can see us through amen, amen. thank you so much Andy, and thank you for joining with us uh, this week for the camp i know it has been uh, quite a challenge and uh, we really appreciate it what do you tell Andy? Yeah. And uh, I know that there will continue to be more interaction with the people. Those who are on Facebook will friend you so that you can be able to share the materials, the slides, and uh, all the schedules and the plan of education that you have been giving to your children. And uh, we know by interactions, we will have a, a fair ground to know what we ought to do at such a time as this. Amen. So, God bless you and your family. Maybe just a last thought before we end the meeting. Oh, um, I, think I've, <laughs> I think I've said all that I could say, um, but I, I know that the interaction that I have had on a large grant um, is all that I'm able to do at the moment, but I, 
I am open to interact with, with folks who are willing to connect with me on Facebook. And I know um, homeschooling, to me, like I said before, is a personal ministry. That's the, the most important thing that I want to leave with you all as we went through the whole week of learning about true Christian education. I, for one, was, I'm a product of public school. Um, I have gone through difficulties and challenges in the public, public school, but because of my mom, who raised me and my siblings as a single parent, um, it has made a great impact on me because of her faith. And if your faith is strong in the Lord, he will see you through in your decision to homeschool. And um, there's a, a saying, a cliche, I think it's a cliche that says, you have to be harmless, harmless as a dove. Wise, wise as a serpent, but har harmless as a dove. And that's to say that whatever, because of our decision, we want to make careful steps in reaching that goal to make our decision a reality. And sometimes we threw in throughout, I, I mentioned in a brief testimony of how I got to this point. Um, even though I wanted to homeschool in 2008, um, it wasn't time for me to actually do so. I had to allow my husband, who is a priest of my home, to lead, to lead me to that point, um, to find a job, to find a place for us to live. And so we have to, as, as wives, listen to our husbands in a loving way so that we can continually pray for our husbands, pray for the decision that we have, and just let time take its course so that we can, can um, see the Lord open his personal ministry, is your personal ministry. And you don't have to look at homeschooling as just academics, is guiding our children to the restoration of the image of Christ. That is your goal through homeschooling and through tr true education is to restore man in our children to Christ. We appreciate and uh, God bless you and keep you and we'll uh, we meet again. Yes, until we meet again. God bless you all and kwahari. Kwahari.